Hello everyone, you are welcome to provide a solution given this nice algebra problem, which is 8 to the power t, this is equal to t to the power 12. Now, what is the value of t? Now, solution from here, we have that 8 to the power t, this is equal to t to the power 12. Now, now, in this case, the first thing here, let's let put the variable t on one side and the constant term on the other side. To do that, let's multiply both signs by 1 over t, by 1 over t. Now, let's simplify here, so that we have 8 is equal to t to power 12, multiplying by 1 over t. The next step here, applying the exponent property, that 8 to power n, this to power m, this can be expressed as a to the power m raised to the power n. Now, applying this exponent property, it follows that we have 8. This is equal to t to the power 1 over t raised to the power 12. Now, the second step from here, let's multiply both signs by 1 over 12. By 1 over 12 here. So that now, let's simplify here. So we can write this as t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 8 to power 1 over 12. Now, the next step here, we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. So let's substitute this here so that we'll have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to power 3 multiplying by 1 over 12. So let's simplify here by 3, 1, by 3, 4, so that here yeah, this is t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to power 1 over 4. Now, the next step again here, we have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to, we can express 2 to power 1 over 4 as 2 to power 1 times 1 over so in this case, we can express 1 as 4 divided by 4. Okay. Now, substituting this, we'll have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to power 4 multiplied by 1 over 4 times 4. Now, let's proceed from here. Now, here we have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to power 4 times 1 over 4 times 4. Now, the next step here, we have t to power 1 over t. You see that the, the base t is equal to the exponent t here. So, we'll have 2 to power 4 multiplied by 1 over 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. Now, as you can see here, 2 to power 4 this is equal to, this is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 16. Substituting this here, we'll have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 16 raised to power 1 over 16. So clearly, you can see that the base t is equal to the exponent. And that's what we have here. We have 16 at the base here. And we have 16 here. So that implies that t is equal to 16. t is equal to 16. Now this implies that t is equal to 16. This t is equal to 16. Now this follows that m to power 1 over m, this is equal to n to power 1 over n. So in this case that m is equal to n, and 1 over m is equal to 1 over n. So here t is equal to 16. So we can also check here. 1 over t, this is equal to 1 over 16. So now if you cross multiply here, we'll have t is equal to 16. So we have the value of t as 16. So let's verify. Let's verify. Let's verify that the value of t, which is equal to 16, 
actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that 8 to power t, this is equal to t to power 12. Substituting the value of t here, we'll have 8 to power 16. This is equal to 16 to power 12. The next step here, we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. Let's substitute this. So this is 2 to power 3. This to power 16. And this is equal to 16 to power 12. We can also express 16 as 2 to power 4. So this is equal to 2 to power 4. This to power 12. So we have 2 to power 3. This to power 16. This is equal to 2 to power 4. This to power 12. Now, following the property that a to power n, this to power m, this can be expressed as a to power n multiplying by m. Applying this exponent property, then it follows that we can express this as 2 to power 3 times 16. This is equal to 2 to power 4 times 12. So, and therefore, if we check here, this is 2 to the power 3 times 16. So 3 times 16, this is 48. So we have 2 to the power 48. This is equal to, now here we have 2 to the power 4. This is 4 times 12, which is 48. So we have 2 to the power 48. So clearly, you can see that the left add side is definitely equal to the right add side. And that affirms that the value of t which is equal to 16, actually satisfies the equation. So kind refer the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Okay, like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.